This patient had a complicated laparoscopic curly cystectomy performed in another hospital and was transferred to us with bleeding from the intra-abdominal drains. You can see this trilobed pseudoaneurysm which is arising from the right hepatic artery on the CT scan. Angiography was performed via right femoral approach with a 5 French sidewinder or SIM2 and you can see clearly the pseudoaneurysm from the right hepatic artery. We had to exclude this from the circulation and it was decided to place a covered stent across this. So first of all I've placed a Benson wire on, in the right hepatic artery. I'm advancing the SIM2 along the right hepatic artery and at the moment this is as far as I can get which is probably not far enough to give me good secure access. I've changed for a stiff Amplatz guide wire with a short floppy tip and this is going to allow me to insert a 5 French destination sheath which will give good support for placement of a stent. Here the sheath's in place, I'm then going to withdraw the central stiffener and obviously have to get a supportive wire more distally than this as the tip of the wire is just across the pseudoaneurysm neck as you can see when we've injected some contrast here. So here I'm inserting an angled tumor guide wire which I can then steer and place very peripherally. I can advance my catheter and then I can insert through this catheter a 0.018 inch V18 guide wire which although fine is very stiff and supportive for placement of a V12 balloon expandable covered stent and this is over a 0.018 system of course. Here you can see the stent being passed up through the destination sheath, it's balloon mounted, it's tracked very easily obviously through the sheath and along that right hepatic artery. You can see a small amount of residual contrast in the pseudoaneurysm to show us that they were in the correct position. But of course we can then confirm that by injecting contrast truth through the sheath. And you can see that it's not covering any of these right hepatic artery branches. The balloons then slowly expanded using a pressure inflation handle. And I'm slightly under expanding this stent. There is some variation depending on how much pressure you put within the, within the balloon. I don't want to overexpand it because it's quite a small vessel. The balloon's then removed and thankfully the stent stays in the position I've placed it. And angiography confirms that the pseudoaneurysm has been completely excluded from the circulation. There is a bit of residual spasm in some of the hepatic artery branches but no evidence of dissection and there is excellent flow. So overall we're pleased with that result. The patient's made an uneventful recovery.